trust you, Lord. I trust you. are God. You are God. You never fail. I trust you. Come on, sing with me. I trust you. Wherever you are at home, come on, go ahead. You are God. You never fail. I trust you. For everything you are going through, will you tell him that you trust, trust him? You. Yes, Lord, you are God. You never fail. Tell him I trust you, Lord. I trust. Yes, I trust. Come on, this is our prayer time. You are God. You never. challenging during this season if the stress the uncertainty the things that you are going through what to do next how will your life unfold after all these events and maybe other events taking place into your house into your life at your workplace in the desires and dreams you have maybe things have changed it doesn't look that as if it was for the better at this point but you are looking for a way out. Ah, can you just turn to God today and say, You are God, you never fail. I trust you. He never failed. Can you tell him, Lord, I trust you? You see, your solution is in your trust in the Lord. Ah, the Lord God said, Go, your faith has healed you. Hallelujah. Go, your faith has healed you if you can just trust him today he would never fail you he would never fail he would take you out of this he will heal he will transform he will provide he will lift you up oh tell him i trust you lord you are god yes you are and there is nobody else you are my alpha and you are my omega i trust you lord trust you Lord you are El Shaddai you are my God and in by the battle you are strong oh God oh I trust you Lord I trust you Jesus my God you are Jehovah Shalom you are my peace you are my peace oh God nothing broken nothing missing I trust you, Yahweh. I trust you, God Almighty. Yes. I trust you. Lord, we trust you. For the things we know, we trust you. For the unknown, we trust you, Lord. For the things we feel confident about, we trust you. My God, for the things we wonder how it's going to play out, we trust you. For what we have, Lord. We trust you. And for what we don't have yet, we trust you, Lord. For where we stand, Lord, we trust you. And for the next step, oh God, we trust you. We trust you, Lord. We trust you, Yahweh. We trust you, King of Glory. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Lord. children we trust you for our boys our young men we trust you for our girls and our women we trust you for our young and our old lord we trust you my god for our future we trust you for where we stand oh god we trust you and for where we going oh god we trust you we trust you lord we trust you jesus Hallelujah. I trust you, Lord. I trust you, Jesus. I trust you, my King. And I trust you, my Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
What a wonderful God we serve. What a faithful Father we serve. If we can just trust Him, we will see His glory. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ spoke to the sister of Lazarus and say, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. Ah, all uh, the sister could see at that time was dead. All she could see was the lack. All she would see was her mourning. All she could see at that time was the chaos, was the people around her, What was the fact that her brother was gone and there was no hope according to her thoughts according to her perception according to the calculation she had about the situation hallelujah god but jesus christ says i know you have seen death i know your brother lazarus has been dead for four days i know he's maybe stinking right now i know he looks hopeless i know he looks chaotic but he says if you believe hallelujah if you believe you will see the glory of God today we're telling God I trust you I choose to believe I choose to trust I choose to know that my God will never leave me nor forsake me I choose to believe that the Lord God is with me hallelujah and he's holding me thank you Jesus hallelujah thank you Jesus Thank you, Lord. This morning, as we share the word of God, I will not so much preach today. I will give you an exhortation. And my prayer is that at the end of this exhortation, you will say to God, I trust you. You tell God, I trust you. Hallelujah. This morning, I would like to bring our attention to the book of Romans. Romans chapter 12. There is a piece of scripture. I think this is one of those that God will bring them to your memory, to your remembrance, or he will speak these words to you in some particular challenging times. And for sure, right now, we are going through challenging times in our society. And uh, we have to acknowledge that we are stressed, that we are challenged, that we are frustrated. And many have all these feelings all together. Some are scared. Some are sleeping in fear. Some are scared for themselves or for their loved ones. Some are wondering what life will look like tomorrow, next month, next year. Some just don't know and they, maybe they're too tired to think, they're too upset to consider what the future might look like. There is a piece of scripture that comes and speaks to our hearts, our minds, our thoughts, speaks to our beliefs, speaks to our core, and brings us to a place where we would like not to be brought maybe during certain seasons of all our lives God brings us back to love hallelujah took me time to even put notes into these thoughts because I'm telling God these are challenging time to love and to love everyone truly but we are children of God and we have to yield to his word our world has not equally distributed love our world has not equally shown love our world has not equally spread love but yet in the midst of times like this the Lord calls unto the church calls to his people and speaks about love I'm going to read from the King James Version first then my whole message is in the message Bible because it's just a way the words are put that just interests me in a particular way Romans chapter 12 starting verse 9 
and we're reading from the new king james version first just be patient and read along i hope you have your bible you see when you come to even a live broadcast you have to bring your bible bring your notebook or take notes into your phone your smartphone your computer wherever you are following us from Romans 12 verse 9 we're going to read all the way down to verse 20 21 let love be without hypocrisy abhor what is evil cling to what is good be kindly affectionate to one another with brotherly love in honor giving preference to one another not lagging in diligence, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. Rejoice in hope, patience, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer, distributing to the needs of the saints given to hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Lord have mercy on us. Bless and do not curse. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Be of the same mind toward one another. Do not set your mind on high things, but associate with the humble. Do not be wise in your own opinion. Repay no evil for evil. Have regard to good things in the sight of all men. If it is possible, as much as depends on you, live peaceably with all men. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Therefore, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him a drink. For in so doing, you will heap coals of fire on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Hallelujah. Then I'm going to read from the Message Bible. What a provocative way of seeing things. Love, from verse 9, of course, Romans chapter 12, Message Bible, verse 9. Love from the center of who you are. Oof. Don't fake it. Run for dear life from evil. Hold on for dear life to good. Be good friends. Uh, be good friends who love deeply. Practice playing second fiddle. Hmm? Nobody wants to be second. Everybody wants to be first. Don't burn up. Burn out. Hallelujah. Don't burn out. Keep yourselves filled and aflame. Be alert, servants of the master. Cheerfully expectant. Don't quit in hard times. Pray all the harder. Help needy Christians be inventive in hospitality. Bless your enemies, no cursing under your breath. Laugh with your happy friends when they are happy. Share tears when they are down. Get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. Make friends with the nobodies. Don't be the great somebody. Don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Our scriptures tell us that if we if you see your enemy hungry, go buy that person lunch. And if he's thirsty, get him a drink. 
your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. Hallelujah. Beloved, we, we live a time when a few of uh, the words that are contained in the scriptures will cause us to say yes. Hallelujah. That's what I want to do. This is where I want to be. I want to rise. And then others are like, mm, I don't know. Some of these, you know, sometimes we, when we go through things, we, we pick and choose what words, what uh, 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 things we want to retain from the word of God. We choose uh, wh where we want to focus on. Um, we, we pick and choose what is co uh, convenient for our moment to justify our thoughts and our behavior, to justify our anger and our resentment, to justify our hate um, in one way or another. But the Lord calls us to Day and say let love be without hypocrisy that means we cannot say we love and we don't show love we cannot say we love publicly publicly and we do wrong things in the secret we cannot say we love and we treat people like they were nobodies we cannot say we love and we have bad thoughts fake attitude toward others the Bible tells us that we have to, we don't have to burn out, but keep ourselves fueled and aflame. There are circumstances today that uh, will cause us to retreat, to back down, to walk fearfully, to wonder if uh, it was a good time for me to be out. Uh, is it okay to be to do this? Is it okay to show up here? It is okay to desire this. It is okay to dream this big. Uh, the Bible says, uh, don't burn out. Don't allow situations to burn you out. Don't allow anything to keep you down. Hallelujah. I just came this morning uh, to tell the people of God that you can love uh, without hypocrisy and rise by the grace of God. Uh, the Bible acknowledges uh, that we will have enemies. Uh, that means people who will love us less, uh, who will uh, be fake with us. Uh, people who will not uh, 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 will, will pretend to love, uh, but in the secret they are stuck in the own attitude. Uh, the God says we will have enemies. Uh, people who just don't like us. Uh, don't like our ways. Don't like the way we look. The way we do things. Uh, but the Lord says uh, don't worry. Don't waste your energy in hating them. Don't waste your energy in seeking revenge. Uh, trust God because God knows how to take care of them. You see most of the time we spend so much energy trying to fight and take care of things that are wasting our time. This morning and throughout this season, I pray the people of God, we are not going to be stuck up. We're not going to be stuck into things, in conversations that reminds us of, of how, how lowly we have been brought, how ashamed we should feel, or how resentful we should be. Beloved, let's not waste our time. God allows circumstances to open our eyes, to help us view ourselves in a better light, to help us rise and demand what's rightfully ours. God is allowing things in our lives during this season now, to cause you to be awakened now, to say enough is enough uh, I don't want to live this way I cannot accept this anymore he said you have to remain fueled and aflame uh, I am not saying that we have to back up and retreat uh, and allow the enemies uh, all those who don't like you uh, to be bosses over you uh, God says remain a fuel that means remain strong, remain standing uh, but you don't hate hallelujah but don't hate that's a waste of your time. That is a waste of your energy. That is a waste of, 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 of that love that God has given you. Hallelujah. He says, don't hit back. Discover beauty in everyone. Discover beauty in everyone. The Lord God has created our world beautiful. Just like a garden, we have flowers of different color, different aspect. This is how our world is. People, and I'm not only talking about race, 
I'm also talking about personality, culture, the people around us. Hallelujah. During this season, somebody was saying, now know who are my friends, people who really care. Did somebody call you to say, I'm sorry for what you're going through? You know, it doesn't matter who called, who did not call. Hallelujah. Don't waste your energy of something that should have happened that did not happen. Something should somebody who should have done and did not get a chance to do. It is okay, the Lord says. Hallelujah. See beauty in everyone. Get along with everyone. Get along with everyone. Don't avenge yourself. The Bible says if your enemy needs something, you just do it. Your generosity should not depend on how good people are to you. But it depends on how good you want to be to the people as you respect and honor the word of the living God. Today I'm speaking to the heart of many that I've heard during the week, upset, frustrated. It is time that we start healing and rising to make changes. Hallelujah. Your voice is heard. Your voice has been heard. People would, would pretend as if they didn't hear it. No, it has been heard. And we'll continue to speak until we see change. But we refuse to walk in fear and we refuse to walk in hate. Hallelujah. We will not seek vengeance for ourselves. We'll allow God to do what only God can do. You see, church, right now, we are believing God for a brighter future. We are believing God for something new to happen. We are believing God for wonderful things ahead of us. We are believing God as the economy reopens, as life starts reopening into a new normal, that we will position ourselves for victory, that we will review the way we live, that we review the way we see things, that we review our work ethics, that we will review the way we, we the aspiration we've had so far. We will rethink the things that we have desired before. Beloved, there is so much at stake. There is so many great things ahead of us. Don't be stuck up. Don't, don't be stuck in one mindset. Don't be stuck in the fact that maybe, oh, will I have the opportunity? Let me tell you, God gives opportunities to whom he chooses to give opportunity. You do your job. Hallelujah. You do your job. It is time for us to rise. I was telling people of God earlier today that many will find reasons and excuses not to be great, not to try, not to step out by faith, not to speak up because they are afraid, because they have an excuse. No, no, if I speak up, this is what's going to happen to me. If I speak up, this is what they're going to do to me. No, people of God, it is time that we trust God with everything we are and everything we have because he has great things ahead of us. Tell the people of God that uh, the circumstances that are going on right now, the pandemic and its aftermath, the racial divide and its ongoing issues that we are praying to change, transform, eradicate, People will find many other things that are going on today as an excuse to sit down, as an excuse to slack, as an excuse to waste their lives. But I say, do not allow the devil to play with your mind. We've been praying for a renewed mind because God is doing something new. It is time that you use these situations as fuel to rise and not excuses to sit back. There was a story of uh, twins who were born from a father who was a drunkard. And he died because of the influence and uh, the effect of alcohol in his life. His children, they, they experienced firsthand how to live in a life of one that alcohol has take, totally taken over. The story goes by saying that one of the, the men, he lived a life of alcoholism as well. Didn't do much with his life. Got in trouble so many times. Nothing to show off for. And they asked him, what happened? Why are you this way? 
And the man says, I was raised by an alcoholic father. Then the other twin, he became very successful, very driven, powerful man, successful in every way. And people looked at him and asked him, wow, how did you accomplish all this? He also answered, I was raised by an alcoholic father. You see the same reason, the same circumstance, the same challenge. You have to choose who you want to be after it. Are you going to use it as an excuse to sit back or as an opportunity to rise and change things? Some people will say, didn't bother finish college because I'm black. What kind of future would I have anyways? I didn't bother do this because I didn't feel accepted. I didn't apply for the managerial position because I didn't think they would say they would want to be uh, led by a person of my color. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. You have to rise and recognize the beauty that you know, of knowing that where you come, that's, where, 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 that's not where you want to be. The things that we have seen, hallelujah, those who have died, like George Floyd, should not die in vain. We have to say they death brought us awareness that we can rise and speak up without hate, standing up for better. Hallelujah. There is no excuse. There is a momentum being built. Those who have walked and received tear gas was not in vain. It is to make a point that we are here. We are visible and we are ready to change the world. You know what? This is it's at the base even of Christian life. Jesus did not say that go and hide. He tell them, you wait. I will give you the Holy Ghost. Then when the Holy Ghost has come, you will stand before anybody. You will speak with boldness. Hallelujah. Look at what the Holy Ghost did to Peter. He took a fisherman and made him the, an eloquent speaker. Maybe his language lacked here and there. It doesn't matter your accent. Let me tell you, God will use it to change the world. His speech changed us. Two men both raised by the same parent one says i failed because the system the environment in which i lived failed me and the other says because of that environment i chose to rise and change things what is your position today what is your position today hallelujah I, you know, you know I, I like thinking and playing with my mind. I am just imagining all the, how would I say this? The clip videos we are going to watch. The comedies we are going to hear. The games are going to be invented. The jokes are going to be created because of coronavirus. I just can't wait. There are people who say, oh, I thought three kids was enough. How come you have the fourth? Coronavirus. I, I, I thought you said this is 2020 is the year you lose 20 pounds. How come you put five more? Coronavirus. Let me tell you, coronavirus will be responsible for a lot of things. I just can't wait for the memes they give. They, I, I can't wait. I'm ready to laugh. I am. My mouth, my lips are ready. Hallelujah. Oh, what happened to you? Coronavirus. But I thought, coronavirus. But you said, corona. Are you going to use coronavirus as an excuse to live at your worst? Or are you going to use it to be at your best? That's your choice. That's your choice. And there will be people who will say, my goodness, but you were broke. How come now you living? They'll tell you, coronavirus happened. Hallelujah. 
Your bank account was in a coma. What happened? Coronavirus. <laughs> but you wasn't you were an employee. How come you were self-employed now? Corona gave me an opportunity. You know what? You have to choose what's the position you are going to stand in. The Lord says. Don't curse. Even under your breath. Laugh and be happy. With your friends who are happy. Share tears with when they are going down. During this season, the Lord is calling us to love and compassion. The days where we're judgmental, pointing fingers at each other, must be over. Those are the days that are just wasting our time, taking up our energy. There are people who stock up your Facebook or your Instagram, not because they love you so much, they have to follow you, but they just, just want to know. I just want to have a reason to criticize. I just want to have a reason to talk back. But you know what? Don't worry about it. Rise up and keep on moving. Rise up and keep on moving. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us, they say, <clears throat> get along with each other. Don't be stuck up. You see, you know what? Maybe with our social distancing, we have to be even more creative in creating new network. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but during this season, it, it looks like I have made myself a new set of friends, literally, literally. We, we don't meet at the restaurant for coffee. We hang out on Zoom or on FaceTime. Maybe we met in some critical meetings and then we had side talks or preparation for certain things and just God made connections, connections. Be creative. Be creative during this time. Hallelujah. And God will lay for you a path of success without you trying too hard. The heart of my message as I am uh, closing is the first part of verse 17. In the message don't hit back discover beauty in everyone don't hit back don't talk back don't insult back don't crush back hallelujah see beauty everything that God created is beautiful you are beautiful your neighbor is beautiful Everything that is around that's made by God is beautiful. The only ugly thing is the lies that the enemy brings, the divide, the hate that he brings to us. Don't be stirred up the wrong way. Don't be pushed to do something that is counter, contrary to your nature. You are a child of God. You are a child of the king. You are a prince and a princess in a kingdom that is the most powerful kingdom on the, on the earth, in heaven, and everywhere. You are powerful. Don't allow anybody to make you doubt yourself. Don't allow any circumstance to make you doubt yourself. You are capable because every ability that you have is a gift from God. Don't use any excuse to hide it, but display it so that God can be glorified. If God gives you talent, knowledge, ability, a color of a skin for a purpose, and you go and hide it and you feel ashamed for it, that means you are not doing what God has asked you to do. Many people will miss opportunity because they cannot accept who they are. But if you embrace you the way God does, Team Jesus never, never loses. Amen. We always win. We always win. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are smart. You are strong. You are capable. He might not look like it right now, but you are fit to succeed. 
That's the promise that we have from God. In all these things, if we do not do it in love, it is absolutely nothing. Let love be without hypocrisy. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Yahweh, we say thank you. Thank you, God Almighty. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, all wonderful and loving Father, for loving us the way you do, for my God, of bringing us up in such a time as this. We know it's not a mistake. We do not appear on earth in the wrong period, the wrong season. My God, but you who are all knowing, you knew that we will go through this. You knew what 2020, at least the beginning of it, will look like. It doesn't matter what comes next. My God, I have discovered that you are God and in you I am stable. So regardless of what happened, I know that my God, my our redeemer leaves and he shall rise last on the face of the earth my god that we decide today we will not allow hate resentment pain suffering tribulations of any kind a lack of jobs and certainty for tomorrow sickness disease or anything to steal away our confidence in you my god and cause our heart to to act a certain way my god we refuse to be stuck up we refuse to be pulled down down. My God, we will refuse to be oppressed, but we rise a field. We rise alert. We rise a standing strong with the Lord to declare that we are children of the Most High God. My God, help us love without hypocrisy. Help us love with a genuine heart that we might see your glory. Because at the end of the day, we need to please you in order to dwell close to you. My God, I pray that this season will not allow anybody to drift away from you, but bring, you, bring, us, bring us all closer to you, oh God. I pray for many of our young people who are enraged, and they, they are no wrong. They've been hurt, they've been pushed, they've heard things, they've seen things. My God, I pray for healing. I pray for healing. Let your love heal us, O oh God. Let your love heal us, O oh Father. Let your, your presence heal our young people, our old people, our, our mothers who are scared, who are worried. Even some mothers have given themselves names. BMW, Black Mother Worried. We refuse that acronym in Jesus' mighty name. We refuse it, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We are mothers strong and believing that the best is yet to happen to our children and to the children and the children's children in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My God, this problem, we cannot bring it to men because men don't, don't know what to do. My God, this problem came to us. We marched, we talked, we tweeted, and we, we Instagrammed, we Facebooked. We, we did all we can, but now we come to you, Lord, and say you are the solution. Show up in the midst of our hurt. Show up in the midst of our pain. Show up in our midst, my God, of our sadness. Show up in the midst of our shock. Show up, oh God, and manifest your glory. I trust you, Lord. For the lives of our young men, our men, Lord, I trust you. For the lives of our young girls, our women, oh God, we trust you. For the survival of humanity in harmony, my God, we trust you. For the respect for each other's culture, tendency, language, attitude, appearance, my God, we trust you. We trust you. I thank you for healing our hearts, for healing our lands, as we humble ourselves before you, Lord. My God, to all those who have joined this time and they have major and present needs, my God, I pray, Father, provide. Open doors, manifest your presence. My God, give access, open doors, we pray. In the name of Jesus, those who are suffering into their body, we speak healing, we speak restoration. We speak a God's miracle into their lives right now. In Jesus' mighty name. For those who have been sad, who have been 
heard we who have had a hard time shaking off the blues, the worries. My God, we speak comfort and we speak peace. Jehovah Shalom, have your way, we pray in Jesus' name. As a new week unfolds, we call it a blessed week in Jesus' name. Week of joy and peace of restoration and solutions to our challenges in the name of Jesus. Now we pray that the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forever. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. We love you dearly. We're always praying for you. Please share the word of God. The instructions to give should be on your screen or at least on one of the uh, pinned comments on the Facebook. Amen. Those who are following us on Zoom and all other platforms, God bless you. We love you. Always praying for you. Have a wonderful week.